Welcome to Japanese language services again. Uh, we are going to discuss about an AD test versus the LPT. So uh, today uh, in the very first slide we would be comparing the NAD test and the JLPT. So you can see here there is an overview of the differences uh, between the Japanese language and AT Nihongo achievement test and the JLPT as a Japanese language proficiency test. The content, portions and format of the NAT test conform to those used by the JLPT. So more or less like you know NAT has got more uh, complex questions compared to the JLPT test. So let's start with the sponsor organization who conducts uh, NAT and who conducts JLPT. So you can see here NAT test is conducted by Senmon Kyoiku Publishing uh, Corporation Limited. Uh, in China we also have office, regional office and administrations. So NAT test is basically you know, administered uh, by an, an organization which is based over in Tokyo and uh, whereas JLPT uh, the organization is in Japan and uh, it's called uh, Japan Educational Exchanges and Services and outside of Japan this is called uh, Japan Foundation. So number of times held, NAT test is held six times per year that is after every two months you can write this NAT test examination. Whereas JLPT is conducted twice per year, that is July and December, or the very first Sunday of July and December. The test schedule you can see here, like you know, generally it is conducted in February. I am talking about NAT, like you know, it is conducted first test in February, then after two months, April, then June, August, October, and December. Whereas JLPT is conducted first test in July, first Sunday, and second test in December, that is called first Sunday itself. So, NAT test sites you can say it's in China, Vietnam, Nepal, Myanmar, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Mongolia, Cambodia, uh, again Philippines, India, Thailand, Bhutan, Uzbekistan, and Greece and Japan. Where NAT test site in India, where you can write your examination in Pune, in, that's in Singer Institute. Alright, so it's and site, site two is uh, in Chennai. Uh, that's called. Uh, Kumara Rani Mina Motaya College of Arts and Science, based in Chennai. Third site is in New Delhi. Uh, it's called Unicosmos School, where you can go and write the examination. So, jailbit test sites compared with NIT had more because it has been very old or jailbit test sites. So, list of overseas test sites. Uh, Cities and local host institutions. So you can see here is in they are in Eastern Europe, Western Europe, Middle East, all over across the world itself. So let's talk about the Southeast Asia, you know, um, India, South Asia and India. Like you know, very first you can see here you can there are the almost uh, nine uh, centers: New Delhi, Pune, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, Mumbai, Shantiniket, and Karur. Karur is selling nearby to Salim. So as you as you can see. All right, okay, so these are the contact number they have given here. Uh, in New Delhi, is Mambu Show is called Association, Bune, you have uh, Jalta, Japanese Language Teachers Association, Kolkata, you have the Indo Japan Welfare and Cultural Association. The phone number is also given over here, so probably you can call them if you need some any uh, information, additional information from them. Bangalore, we have Bangalore Nihongo, Kyoshikai, in Mumbai, we have Teachers Association of Japan. Uh, Japanese language, Shantinik and the Vishwamati and Karul, Japanese language teachers association. Like, these are numbers you can contact them if you want some form. Uh, I say like it's connected twice, July and December. And the year before I move, uh, so forms generally you know uh, they announce uh, you know, three months before if the exam is in July, they will uh, come up with the examination form in March. So March, full and April, the first week of April, they uh, no deadline is the first week of April. Uh, similarly, uh, now after three months, you have got the examination for December. They come up with August or like you know, July, July, August. They generally August they come up with the form and uh, September first week they close the forms like that. So basically, uh, for all detail, you can contact these uh, centers, prospective like you no know, respective centers now. Examination fees or uh, NAT test varies from uh, for level. Uh, from it starts for thousand and it goes till uh, two thousand. Uh, depending on the level. JLPT we have uh, 1000 to 600 depending on the level again right so we have all right let's let's uh, what is the competence uh, required for the each JLPT level you can see originally JLPT we start with JLPT N5 right so this uh, in N5 the ability to understand some basic Japanese 
that you can read and you can listen you, know, you can understand a bit of japanese where you will be learning hiragana katakana and basic kanji as well and go to next level that's called n4 level so where you uh, the ability to understand basic japanese again but a yeah, number of vocabulary number of uh, you know, kanji increases number of uh, grammar it increases so you go one more level up you later you know uh, all right, so N3 uh, is basically the ability to understand Japanese use in every everyday situation to a certain degree. So whenever like if you're doing some business or if you want to interact with the Japanese uh, customers or you want to work in Japanese uh, you know, organization or uh, anything like, you know, N3, I prefer, uh, you know, generally we suggest you should go and uh, take this uh, certification. So basically you will have to go step by step. So um, now if you think like you don't want to take N5, N4 directly, you can go and write this N3 exemption. Similarly, you can direct, now you want to miss uh, till N2 and directly go for N1, you can write directly N1 exemption. But we suggest like, you know, uh, at least you start with uh, N4 or N3 so that you have a idea like, you know, what kind of questions you're going to be asked. Like, N5 is very easy. Uh, of course, you would be able to clear the examination. But yes, if you don't want to... Uh, uh, no waste your uh, 1500 or 1600 rupees then you can directly uh, you know, uh, skip one level and then go to the next level to write the examination so n2 is, is basically the to you know the ability to understand japanese use in everyday situations and in a variety of circumstances to a certain degree and one is the highest or so you can say masters in japanese language it's like uh, no native japanese that where you can is the ability to understand japanese use in a variety of circumstances like all right so yeah so uh, here exam format is and test is like you now we have uh, five level and level one level two level three level four and level five yeah, same language knowledge in uh, n5 we have n4 we have you know n3 we have so listening comprehension also have a 16 points so language knowledge reading vocabulary grammar reading comprehension so we'll be discussing all this in return later slides so yeah same as above so if you if talk about the level uh, we have the same five levels in NAT also we have the same level in JLPT examination so JLPT test sections and uh, test times you can see here n1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 so in n5 if you are starting with the n5 uh, generally the test time is 20 minutes I mean they have changed the time in fact like you know, for n5 uh, uh, the full vocabulary they have 20 minutes for grammar and reading they have about 40 minutes and the full listing, uh, they have 30 minutes. Similarly, for N4, we have uh, for vocabulary, we have 25 minutes. And for uh, grammar and uh, reading section, we have 55 minutes. And listening again is uh, 35 minutes. So this is a you know, uh, overview of how much time you are going to have in, during this examination. This is a test time and test sections as well. You please go through this. Number of vocabulary in energy test, like you know, level 5, it has got 1000 words. Level 4, 2000, level 3, 4000 words, level 2, 6000, and level 1 is you know, 10,000. So, for a detailed list of 1000, 10,000, 172 vocabulary words, you know, separated by level, we'll see. We have, you, know, you can go and visit the NAT website and you will get all the sample uh, paper over there and documents uh, over there. So, whereas JLPT, they have not uh, publicly disclosed by uh, Japan Foundation how many kanjis will be there or how many word vocabulary will be there. like. You know, so, but generally, you know, students, they study uh, from their past uh, experience or from uh, the sessions uh, received from the seniors or like, you know, their friends and they start preparing for the JLPT. So, number of kanji, you can see here, like, you know, N5, 102 characters are there, but JLPT N5, generally we have, you know, 100 to 120 kanji. So, uh, there is no fixed uh, what I uh, mentioned in my previous slide. So, you know. So it depends uh, more or less uh, the level wise, the complexity wise, more or less same, but uh, questions are more tough in any test. Yeah, our study, what are we, uh, we have got the information from website. It's called any test for level five, you should study at least minimum 20, 200 hours for where uh, JLPT, you generally need 150 hours, right? So here you can see that we have also given the, you know, how many countries you need to learn uh, during N5, N4, N3, N2, N1. Right? So all these things, you can get the information here. So N5 is your beginner, then N4 is your basic, and then N3 is your lower intermediate, and N2 is intermediate, and N1 is your advanced. Okay, coming to uh, exam pass criteria, the NAT test, like you, know, uh, you have to score more than 25% on each individual sections, and second uh, criteria is achieving an overall 
score that exceeds the passing score uh, for exam typically 11 that's 9 by 260 percent whereas jlpt you have three sections i say like now range of score is from uh, you know, 60 60 60 60 points each you can see here um, here vocabulary part this is a vocabulary part you, know, you have 60 marks and then passing marks is usually 19 so in each section you have to get, you know, get uh, 19 marks out of 60 again you no know, reading and grammar you have 60 marks you also need to get 19 marks out of that and then for listening also you have 60 marks you need to you know, get 19 marks so n5 uh, basically you know n5 you need to have uh, 80 marks you know, passing uh, marks is 80 n4 uh, we have 19 and n3 uh, Oh, no, so every level has got different different uh, passing uh, uh, criteria. So, but you can clear the examination at Harley Mesa. N two they need ninety marks, and N one is hundred marks like that. So you can clear the examination easily. All right. So typically it's an uh, average between a uh, fifty five and a uh, fifty percent or fifty five percent like that. So more or less same passing percentage is required. Composition of GLB test items you can see here. The, we have uh, if you talk about the uh, any section, like, you know all those it will have vocabulary, grammar, reading, and the listening part. So you know in the vocabulary part, kanji reading or orthography, word formation, contextually defined expressions, all these things will be there. So number of questions you can see here. Uh, you know there will be twelve kanji, and then eight uh, orthography uh, paraphrases is ten, and then again uh, we have. Uh, Oh, sorry, yeah, I beg your pardon. Contextually defined expression is 10 and paraphrase is 5 etc. So, so then the other basically composition, how many questions will be there in each level, number of test items are there. Okay, you can pause and you can see in detail. And let's let's you know, I have just taken a sample report of how N5 J L P T N5 uh, no section looks. So we generally start with the vocabulary, the first section uh, start with the vocabulary. So in vocabulary, you will be having like you no, know, they will give you one some kanji and uh, they will ask you, you know, there will be four options: MCQ, multiple choice questions. You will have a separate uh, OMR sheet where you will be you know, uh, you know circling it or you know uh, making it dark uh, the right answer so if it is atarashi kuruma desne so you have to find out where is atarashi written here right so there's a uh, one question the is like you know, 12 questions will be there so, uh, so you can section again the you know, second type of questions in the first uh, section uh, vocabulary part itself uh, they will give you some uh, hiragana and they will give you some uh, kanji here they have given uh, hiragana and they have asked you to you know put in the katakana also so they need they want the JLPT Japan Foundation wants that it should be thorough through the hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Right? So it can be generally, uh, you now uh, 90 percent uh, portions they can say it's like you no know, hiragana will be there and kanji will be there. So you have to mark you know, the right uh, uh, kanji way. Right? So it was a in previous section it was a different way. Kanji was given and four options were in hiragana. But here the hiragana is given and then four kanji will be there. Right? So we have to. Right, third type of questions will be that you know uh, vocabulary itself. If you say it's uh, you know, ni nani ka, ichi ni san, yon kara ichi wan, ii mono wo hitotsu eran de kutasai. So if you say like you know, fill in the blanks, you know, koko wa something something, just benkyo de kimasan, you know, here it is something something, and then I cannot study. So four options will be there vocabulary. It can be kurai, samui, urusai, and abunai. We understand urusai is noisy, so you can see that picture. It's very noisy, and this person cannot read it. So answer will be Urusai. So the vocabulary you should know which vocabulary will fit here. Again, uh, the vocabulary part, the last section will be like one sentence will be given, given, and then very near to that uh, sentence which is which fits. Uh, no, you have to select. For example, like no, watashi wa depato ni sutemete imas. I'm working in department store. So you know, four options are there. Watashi wa depato de kai mono shite imas. I'm I'm uh, doing shopping at the department store. Watashi wa depato de sampo shite imas. I'm working in the Department show, I am working, I am working in the department show. Alright, so it is very sutomeru and shigoto shiru is the same kind of like, you know, vocabulary. So third is a very nearest one. Fourth is watashi wa depato de So I am oh, no, taking rest at the department. So third is the right answer like that. Alright, that was the first section. And then we go to second section. Uh, it's called grammar and reading. Grammar reading, like now you have to put the article. Example, uh, grammar like now, oto, to. Or uh, to to, wa uh, here something like soji or shimasta, right? So you we should be knowing which particle will be ga o ni no like no. So here o or here no, you have to be like you no. Know, what word should be there? Oto to wa here no soji or shimasta. Alright, okay. This. 
second time of questions will be star mark like you know you will be giving one sentence uh, which sentence the formation is jumbled word kind of thing so like now uh, we have to form one sentence with wa kore wa kyoen watashi and then one two three four four blank will be there so which out of these four options which one will come here which one will come on a star you now you have to you now make a sentence so that it makes sense over here right so example you can say kino second example you can say kino something something some star like that you know. and four options are jisho o nihongo no ukimasta kai mono or something like that so you can frame the kaito no shikada is kino nihongo no jisho o kai ni ukimasta like that so kai ni will be on your star marks like that all right we move to uh, another type of grammar you know there will be a reading section where uh, how to say like only uh, one box will be there or clean the blanks will be there which word which vocabulary will be fitting in that particular box we have to choose from that right so you can say the box ni nani o iremasu ka so right so you have to read it and then out of four options you have to select it so reading comprehension and kind of things again similarly now you have to see here uh, one reading comprehension will be there and then four options will be there so out of four options like now uh, questions example you have to read this like now sensei ga ansan ni tegami o kakimasu ka and then this is a content of the letter and then question will be asked sensei wa itsu uh, jikan ga arimasu ka when they have has got it and short of this reading this you have to find out the right answer so reading comprehension will go next kind of, again like now it's a uh, same reading comprehension bit uh, lengthy one Uh, so now you have to read and then questions will be here yan san wa kyo doko e kimasu ka where he will go so out of like no uh, four options are there so after reading this now you have to find out the right answer and the last section will be like now you have to know there are some pictures will be there out of the pictures which uh, no questions will also there right now, now you have to relate the picture so if the example like no four four options are there So, which uh, four options are matching to the uh, given questions? Example here is there the chawa dore, to dore ni nori maska. So, which one uh, uh, you know? Or I'll be uh, you know, using this uh, trainer one. All right, nori maska. So, I say Fuji, Sakura, Sakura, Fuji, Chi, Chi. So, look at the picture and then relate with the question and then you are to do. And the last section is listening. Like now, listening. Uh, there will be conversation. Listening to the conversation, which picture they are talking about, you have to mark each in each one. So if uh, and uh, for uh, in fact, uh, now we have made a video on JLP ten five and four uh, on audio, a full uh, JLP ten five listening section. Please uh, subscribe or uh, please you uh, know click to the above video where uh, you can. This is a video link I have, we have shared. You can see uh, in the N five listening section what questions are being asked. So listen. The second type of questions will be here. Like you now, uh, there will be again. Uh, they uh, they will ask you questions. Then look at the picture, and then they will talk, and then you have to guess which uh, you know about whom they are talking about. Two and then third is basically uh, what the you know you can say the arrow is there on on a person, right? Two two person are saying like you no. Know, It says, "Kono monai de wa eomi nagara sesumo no kete kudasai yajirushi no hito wa nanto imasu ka." Right, so what other person? Example, like you know, if this person wants this particular jisho, that dictionary, what he will be saying, right? So three options they will uh, say, and then out of three options, you have to choose the right answer. And the last section will be like, you know, kono monai de wa e na do ga arimasen. There is no picture at all. Bono kite, like you know, you have to listen to the uh, sentence and then mark the right answer like that. So this that was kind of like you no know, sample part. Let's see success. Overall marks, marks, like you know, you can see here more or less. Uh, you know, is 80 then 90 95 100 that's some million and five right. every section has cut off of 19 marks you know so here so 80 is required for n5 n4 they need 90 marks n3 they need 95 n2 they need of oh, 90 and then n1 is 100 so getting 100 marks is very tough this is now out of this n5 uh, no all those gl levels i considered n4 is the toughest one getting this 90 marks is very tough So most uh, the participants or the candidates they fail in this and for exemption side. All right, we move to result announcements. Like now, NIT that issue the result uh, of the test within three weeks of the examination date itself, and you get the score report certificate of proficiency like this. Whereas uh, uh, JLPT, now ideally it takes two months uh, to publish the result. Like now you have got a certificate. You know, it looks like this. 
okay advantage of jlpt uh, basically jlpt certificates offer various advantages uh, ranging uh, from um, recognition as academic credit and graduation certification at schools to preferential treatment at uh, companies and acknowledgement of qualification in our society but basically you know everyone knows about the jlpt and it has just uh, you know been around uh, now introduced uh, one year or two years back so probably it will take some time but it's good uh, and instead of waiting for six months you can appear uh, for the examination and it examination many times within uh, a year all right so for immigration also this is jlpt is required whatever you want to do the job jlpt is required like you know all right. so it's a very silly individuals with a total of 70 points or higher receive a professional treatment uh, at immigration sector advantage of night like you know what we discussed six times is required and the complexity is more we little bit difficult but yes of course not not uh, if you have not if you could not clear jlbt of course you know, after a month you can take this any examination thank you so much uh, hope you like the video please subscribe